Okay, so this is our rock painting instructional video. In your kit, you should get a tray for mixing your colors of paint, uh, containers with various colors of paint. I was gonna try to do red, white, and blue for most of them so that you could mix them and get all the colors that you need because yellow and blue, when you mix them together, get green, and yellow and red, when you mix them together, you get orange, and red and blue, you can get violet or purple. So, those are things that you need to know how to do. Also in your kit, you will get some paint brushes. There's a slightly bigger one, it's kind of flat, and a smaller one that comes to a point and makes so that you can do details. And then um, I will allow you to choose some rocks. I'm gonna bring some rocks, but of course you can always pick up rocks outside on the ground, wherever, wherever you find them. And then you will have this piece of paper in there as well. And on this piece of paper, I've written down the instructions, but I'm going to show you the directions. Take your rock and place it inside this square and then trace around it so that you get the shape of your rock on your piece of paper, okay? Then you will create a design for your rock on this piece of paper in this shape, okay? I chose to do a design inspired by that book that is also that there should be a QR code and a link in your kit that talks about the book only one you and there's some fish in there and they're giving their little fish some advice a mom and dad giving their fish some advice and so that was the design I came up with then you can take and plan it out, you know, decide what color each section is going to be because you can change your mind a lot easier on a piece of paper than you can while you're painting your rock, okay? So I've got some colors, so I'm deciding how I'm going to do my rock. Okay, um, maybe I'll do this. I'm gonna do this part yellow too. And then I might do those polka dots red. I think that would be cool. Okay, and then um, after you're done planning out how you want your rock to look, you will then take your rock and place it on your paper just below the rectangle so that you have somewhere to work. Then you'll use your paints. Now you are welcome to use them directly out of the container or mix them in your paint palette. Okay. So I've got that. I'm gonna use my bigger brush for bigger areas and my smaller brush for detail, right? And this first couple of coats, you might wanna do more than one layer. So I'll do a layer of yellow and then I'll do another layer of yellow so it makes it a little bit brighter right Oh, I guess I forgot the second step, which is you're supposed to put your name on it, but I've started already, so I'll put my name on it when I'm all done. Just make sure you put your name on it because then you won't get it mixed up. 
then everyone will know who did it. Okay, so I will let that dry and then I'll add the next details to it with my detail brush that I have, the little pointy one. You'll have one of those in your kit too. Paper towels are great when you're cleaning your brush as well. Oh goodness, I can't get that open for the next color I wanted to do. Well, you may need an adult to help you open these. I might need an adult to help me open these. <laughs> there we go. Now we've got some blue. But it is nice to have this paper down so that I'm not dripping and making a big mess, right? Make sure you don't get it on your clothes or anywhere else. another layer of yellow and then I can do my details with my red but there's an idea I don't want to make this video too long but there's an idea for you on how to do that part oh I was going to show you my idea on how to do the color mixing when I mix the colors I like to scoop it out of the little cup with a butter knife so that I'm not, I can control easier how much I'm getting out of the cup, right? When I take and scoop it out with a butter knife, right? And I could put a bit in there. And then you'll want to make sure it's clean before you scoop out of the, the next color and put it into your cup. I think it needs more red, but it makes a lovely orange. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.